Okay, so welcome to this next video in the probability playlist. Uh, this video is going to be all about the uh, odd moments of the standard normal distribution. Of the standard normal distribution. So firstly I need to tell you what a moment is. Standard normal. I'll just put standard normal. Uh, so remember our setup. Uh, we have an abstract probability space, which I'll just draw here, our abstract probability space. We have some random variable mapping uh, this abstract probability space onto the real line, and uh, we have that x is distributed normally with mean 0 and variance 1. Okay, so that's the standard normal distribution. So what do I mean by odd moments of the standard normal distribution? Okay, uh, so uh, this it, the, the odd moments are the expected value. Well, the moments of uh, of a random variable uh, are the expected value of x to the n. These are is equal to the nth moment. So the first moment, uh, the first moment of a random variable x, of a uh, random variable x is equal to e of x. The second moment of a random variable x is e of x squared. The third moment of a random variable x is e of x cubed, etc. Uh, and they're going to become very, very important later on when we study um, uh, moment generating functions. Okay, uh, so uh, for now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the odd moments of the standard normal, i.e. the expected value of x to the n where n is an odd number. Number, and then basically we can just apply the law of the unconscious statistician for, uh, for um, well, for um, for for continuous random variables. Sorry, I had to think there, uh, which says that this is uh, the integral between negative infinity and infinity, i.e., all values that uh, the random variable can take on of x cubed uh, times uh, little f of x, where little f of x is the probability density function of our standard normal distribution. And we saw in the previous videos that this was equal to 1 divided by the square root of 2 pi e to the negative x squared over 2. So that's our PDF, basically. So this is the probability density function. Okay, uh, so uh, basically uh, what we want to note is that this uh, this is an odd function, uh, which is going to help us a lot. Uh, so odd functions, an odd function is something like, 